Hi Aries, welcome to your general love reading for November 2022. This reading is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs in Aries. I am doing this a little bit differently this time. We um, are going to be focusing on your person's energy towards you, um, which I've, I don't think I've ever done that before, but that's what we're doing. And the roles though can be reversed. So it could be that you are in Aries um, watching to see your person's energy or it could be that your person is an Aries, okay? So if you find that this reading doesn't resonate with you, you can check out your person's sign and see if that one makes more sense to you. Either way, you can book a personal reading if you would like, and you can find all that information in the description box below this video, all right? Because do remember, this is general, so it's not going to be everybody's situation. All right, Aries, let's see what is going on here with another person. What is their energy towards you for the first couple weeks of November 2022, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. All right, let's see. For the situation, we have the Magician crossed by the Six of Swords. Okay, so this is someone who um, is really feeling like they don't have what it takes in order to come forward. It does feel like, you know, they've been distancing themselves from you, like they have taken a step back or they're trying to move away from this connection. But really what's going on here is that they're feeling like they just don't have what it takes in order to to be with you or to take some action towards you or to manifest this connection in the way that you would want it to or in the way that even they would want it to. Let's see the recent past. We have the Page of Cups and in the near future, what's coming up, we have the Fool. Okay. So this is someone where recently or sometime in the recent past, they opened up to you. They opened up their feelings that you may have had a heart to heart conversation. Um, either way, there were some emotions that were expressed here. Now coming up, it does look like with the fool, like there is going to be some kind of action taken, possibly some kind of a risk that is taken. So it does feel like this person, even though I feel like they're currently moving away, it feels like they're having a hard time doing that because the Six of Swords, this is also the challenge here. So it's challenging for them to actually move away from this connection. Let's see what is going on in their headspace or what it is that they're thinking. We have, ooh, the Tower. And what is going on subconsciously for them? We have the Ace of Wands. All right. So... Wow, they're really going through it right now, having this tower like right at the forefront of their minds. Um, they're going through a big time crisis, possibly because you know they have walked away from this. I mean, they clearly do have feelings for you, and I feel like that's why we have this page of cups here in the recent past. They're having a really hard time trying to walk away from you or trying to leave this connection in the past. And they're, again, the reason why they were doing that is because they felt like there's just something here that they were not able to accomplish or that they were just not able to do, not believing in their own self. This is creating a huge, huge tower for them. In other words, a huge crisis, feeling like their whole world is being torn apart. So subconsciously, we have the Ace of Wands here. So this, whatever this tower is, whatever it is that they're going through right now, like this big time crisis, it's actually serving as a motivator for them to actually take some action, which I do see coming up. I mean, this is actually looking pretty good. Um, if this is a person that you would want in your life. Let's see their current energy. We have the Page of Pentacles, your energy. We have Death. Oh, okay. So yeah, this person is taking some steps. I mean, there's a lot that they are learning here. I feel like they still have a lot to learn through this crisis that they are going through. And then for you, you know, you're feeling like this is done, basically. Okay, so we will get to more. Let's see their hopes and fears. We have the Ten of Swords. So, wow. So they're afraid of this being over. Like they, this is, even though this may have been something that they thought that they could deal with, right? Especially with the Six of Swords. Like they're trying to move away from this. They're trying to heal from this connection. Um, deep down, they have this fear that, no, you know, that like I just cannot get over this. Like this is going to be just too painful to, to bear. So let's clarify some of these and see what is actually going on at a deeper level. Aries, all right. So 
So let's start by clarifying. Let me just move them over. We're going to clarify this main situation here, the magician with the six of swords. All right, and we have the Empress, the Page of Wands, and the Nine of Wands. Yeah, so this person is definitely seeing you as the person that they, that would just be perfect for them. Um, not only that, I feel like they see you as being very nurturing, as, you know, really just being very empowered overall. And this is something that actually attracts them to you, but it's also at the same time something that maybe intimidates them a little bit or makes them feel like it would be a challenge to be with you or to, you know, make things work with you that maybe they feel like they just wouldn't have, again, like what it takes in order to move through this. I also get that there's some kind of an obstacle here, um, like a very, very specific one. Um, for some of them where, you know, that's something that they need to overcome in order to be able to move towards you. And this is why um, they were trying to just move away, move away from you because they felt like whatever that obstacle is that they just didn't have what it takes in order to overcome that obstacle. And they would need to overcome that obstacle in order to be with you. And that obstacle to them feels like something that is very, very challenging. And so this person currently or recently has been trying to get over you, basically has been, has been trying to leave you in the past. And that is actually proving to be just as challenging as that obstacle that they were trying to that they would need to get over in order to be with you. So it's kind of like, well, now it's kind of like this um, catch 22 where both obstacles are equally difficult. So getting over an obstacle to be with you is very difficult, but then getting over you is also very difficult and not being with you is very difficult. So it's like, okay, now what do I do? So it's that kind of an energy that I'm getting here. And so this person is feeling very um, disempowered because of that. All right, let's see, let's see that tower. And we have strength and the seven of cups. Okay, so uh, just real quick, let me call out some of the signs that I'm seeing here. I'm getting um, Aries. For some of you, definitely we have Leo with the strength card. We also have Scorpio showing up. So some of you might be dealing with one of those signs or maybe you are one of those signs. Doesn't have to be though. Okay. So they're going through, like I said, a huge crisis where they're feeling very confused about their options. And not only that, it's 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 a lot deeper than that. It's not so much being confused at, at, as in terms of their options. It's about finding that strength in order to take the option that they feel is for them and that is actually in alignment with them. To not act on fear, to not, you know, make this decision based on, okay, you know, do I have what it takes? No, it's, it's, it's like this person, what they're realizing with this tower is that you have to do, you know, what you feel, even if it is challenging, finding that courage to make that decision or to make that choice based on what it is that I want and not based on what I think would be easier because I feel like this person basically did what they felt was easier up until this point. Now they're realizing, well, that option is really not all that easy either. <laughs> so it's really about finding that strength to go for what they want because now that they're seeing that both options are equally difficult, well, I might as well do the one that I want because trying to move away from you is not proving to be any easier than overcoming a challenge in order to be with you. So let's see this Ace of Wands. The Nine of Swords and the Emperor. Yeah, so they're going through a major, major um, crisis right now. As I said, there's a lot of stress and I do feel like it's because in your energy we have the death card where it's not only that 
I'm not saying that you ended things because that's not exactly what I'm getting, but you are actually transforming. You are actually accepting this as an ending on some level. And so I feel like because of that, you know, that's really stressing out this person that this idea that this is actually over and that they cannot seem to forget about you or they cannot seem to move on. Um, from you, that's creating a lot of stress and it's that stress that is actually serving as a motivator for them to actually step into their power as this emperor and actually do something about it. Now I do love that we have both the emperor and the empress showing up in this reading because it's telling me that, you know, this really is a very deep connection here. It's like, you know, you are there is some kind of an alignment between you and this person. This is like a divine couple basically. And so you know, you're, you're standing as this empress, and so that is pushing them, the stress of that is pushing them to also step into their divine energy as well. All right, let's see. This page of pentacles. their current energy we have the ten of wands and the two of pentacles it's really hard for them right now it's a huge struggle for them i mean having both the ten of wands and the two of pentacles both of these cards talk about a struggle so yes they are learning through this struggle so this is something that actually needs to happen this tower needs to happen this stress that they are currently facing needs to happen they need to feel the burden of this situation in order for them to actually make a change. So it's like, yeah, right now they're having a very hard, a hard time coping with this. They're having a hard time managing with the crisis that they are going through. So it, if you are in contact with this person, it could present itself in numerous ways where it just feels very um, inconsistent or like this person, you know, is all over the place. Like, you know, they could even be, you know, trying to focus on on other things just because it's so difficult to handle the crisis that they're going through right now. But that doesn't mean that they're not going to face it. Like, you cannot avoid it, this tower. You cannot escape it. Like, it's going to be there. Um, it's just going to be a matter of time before they actually, you know, allow that to teach them whatever it is here to teach them, all right? And that's why we have this page of pentacles. There are some steps that they are taking, but they're taking them in a very like heavy way. I feel like, you know, every step that they take, it feels very heavy for them. Like it's it's a challenge just to move that leg, you know, a few inches forward. It's feeling like that for them. Um, but they're definitely, you know, feeling like, all right, you know, I don't know what to do here. I don't know what to do because this is, you know, getting over you is just not as easy as they thought it was. So let's see. Let's see death for your energy. And we have the world and the eight of wands. Yeah, you know, you're ending a chapter here. You're moving forward. You're, it, I'm not saying it's easy for you, um, but you're definitely closing out something in terms of this person. And I feel like you're doing that very quickly. And so you're moving forward very quickly. And this is actually escalating that tower for this, for this person. And that is what is, <laughs> I guess, leading up to this fool here, which we will take a look at in just a sec. But let me just take a look at that 10 of swords for their um, hopes and fears. The moon, okay, so Pisces energy and the four of cups. Wow, yeah, these are all pretty heavy, heavy energies here. They're, they're so scared of, you know, this ending between the two of you being like something that they will never be able to get over. Like they're really fearing that they will never be able to move forward because they've tried and it's not easy. It's proving to be very, very difficult. So they're afraid of this ending. Um, I don't know if this is also them hoping that there will be an ending to the other obstacle that they are trying to, that they were trying to get through or you know whatever that other option is for them to overcome in order to be with you um for some of them it could be that 
um, because that's something that is creating a lot of dissatisfaction for them anyway. I feel like it was it just seemed to be the easier option. And like I said, it's proving to be, you know, trying to leave you behind is proving to be just as difficult as trying to overcome that other obstacle. So there's a fear of just never being able to get over you basically here. And so that's coming in with a lot of with a lot of doubt in terms of, you know, feeling like they might always be depressed if they allow this to actually be over. So let's see the fool for what is coming up here. The Queen of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, yeah, so this is them taking a risk in terms of following their heart, following their intuition. Like I said earlier, um, feeling like, okay, well, since both of these options are hard, I might as well go for the one that I feel my heart is drawn to, okay? So I don't feel like it's happening overnight because we do have the Seven of Pentacles, but it's taking some steps in that direction, you know, beginning to invest in that in that concept and in that idea of taking a leap of faith and of taking that risk even if it comes with some kind of another challenge that they will need to overcome in order to follow their hearts here so that's actually a very beautiful beautiful um way to close out this part of the reading all right aries so if this resonated let's get a final oracle message for you And we have the blue moon, believe in the impossible. Because it does feel impossible. <laughs> At least to this person, it feels impossible. And I'm, first of all, this could be a message for you, take it as it resonates. And I'm also getting that this is a message for the other person, you know, something that feels so impossible with that nine of wands, the 10 of wands, you know, that it actually is possible to overcome the challenge and to go for their heart, basically. So that is it, Aries. Thank you so much for watching, much love.